Hey everybody, how is everybody doing? I hope y'all are doing great. I am doing a video on um, demonic spirits, but I want to start with something that is um, very popular um, throughout the United States and around the world. And I've actually have been very, very heavy about this for the past probably about three weeks. Um, to the point that I didn't even want to talk about this, um, because I know that a lot of Christians practice this and, um, the topic for tonight is going to be yoga. Uh, but before we get started, let me just go ahead and pray and ask the Holy Spirit to come and take over this teaching tonight, um, and lead us into what he wants us to know about it. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Um, Father God, I just thank you. And I just ask, Lord, that uh, you, Holy Spirit, would come and fill this, this room, fill this atmosphere, Lord. Father God, that every word that flows out of my mouth comes straight from you. Lord God, I, I am available to you. I'm just a vessel, Father God, that, that is willing and available, uh, Father God, to speak whatever you have to say, Lord. And Father God, I ask that, with your love and with your grace, Father God, that you flow and you teach us, Lord, and you show us and you correct us in your love in the things that are hindering us from entering in and having a pure fellowship with you. So, Lord, I ask you to come and fill this place with your anointing, with your grace, with your with your love. Holy Spirit, come and take over. And I thank you, Lord, that you are a God of love and grace, that you, Lord, teach us, and that you love us so much that you're willing to correct us because of your love for us. So, Father, I thank you. Uh, and I pray, Lord, that every heart that listens to this message, Lord, be open um, Father God, to the things that you have to say and are willing, Father God, to change uh, their ways, Father God, and render their lives and commit their lives back to you. Uh, if there's any areas where repentance needs to take place, Lord, I ask that you lead them by the power of your Holy Spirit, Father God, into repentance, Father God, and that they, Father God, would walk back and turn back to you. So I thank you, Lord. I honor you. I praise you and I glorify you tonight in Jesus name. So before I get started, I want to read an article. Um, I've actually have had a hard time in wanting to do a video about this because I know that just point blank, I'm going to get attacked because there's a lot of people that practice yoga. Um, and believe that it is a good thing. Um, so I'm here to speak truth. I I I am I am filled with the love of God, and I love God with all of my heart, all of my mind, all of my soul, and all of my strength. And I'm here to speak truth tonight. Um, I don't mean to offend anyone, but if someone is offended, um, I pray that the Holy Spirit will will lead you. And um, will, in his love, um, show you the errors, the errors of your ways, just like he leads me and shows me every single day. Um, so I want to start with an article. And this is, I found this, Jonas Clark is one of my favorite authors. There are several, several favorite authors that I have when it comes to Christian teaching and um, revealing and exposing demonic spirits. But Jonas Clark um, have been probably one of the first to have uh, written an article about yoga and and what kind of spirit is behind it. And I just want to read a, a short uh, portion of his article because I don't want to take too much time in this video. But let me go ahead and say what his article was about. The title of his article um, is called America's Counterfeit Holy Spirit and its name. Okay, and I'm going to read just a portion of it. A dangerous spirit is entering Christian churches in North America. The spirit is prophetic, offers visions, dreams and feelings of peace. 
It even looks like the Holy Ghost, and only the most discerning are seeing it. Traveling has provided me an opportunity to experience many things while seeing the ministry of the Holy Spirit in lots of different circumstances. I've seen some things recently that look like the Holy Spirit but are not. There is a counterfeit Holy Spirit entering Christian, Christian churches. One of my first experiences was in a particular church service. The minister was preaching, praying, and prophesying. It looked like the Holy Spirit was moving, but something was wrong. There was a clash in my spirit, and I just couldn't enter into the service. My spirit was not in agreement. I even felt like my spirit was warring against something unseen. It didn't make sense to my head, but everything looked right. As the service progressed, I stayed in prayer. Then suddenly I saw it. The Holy Spirit opened my eyes and I saw another spirit in this preacher. It was one of the highest occult spirits I have ever seen. It was a serpent looking rep reptile curled around this man's spine and laying across his shoulder. It was really difficult to see because it camouflaged itself becoming transparent at times. Later, I asked the intercessors with me if they had witnessed to what we saw and heard. Like me, they confirmed that they, the preaching was good, but something was wrong. They just didn't know what it was. I told them what the Lord showed me. This person, dear reader, is a popular Christian speaker, writer, and television guest in America. It was very grieved in my spirit I was very grieved in my spirit after this experience this man was not flowing in the Holy Ghost but another spirit I believe the name of this counterfeit Holy Ghost is Candelini Candelini is a new age serpent spirit let's explore this spirit where it came from and how it entered America please ask the Holy Spirit to help you see its deception don't just take my word for what's happening. Pray and do your own research. Later in this essay, I'm going to let you hear. Um, it's a video that he recorded of a Christian church operating under this spirit, the Kendalini spirit. The Kendalini spirit gained access to the Western world from India through New Age teaching. It is popular known as yoga. Don't for a minute think that yoga is harmless. Yoga is an inherent part of Hindu philosophy which teaches men and nature are one, are one with divinity. Now I'm going to stop right there. Um, this spirit acts, mimics, And makes it seem like it is the Holy Spirit, but it is not the Holy Spirit. It's the Kendalini Spirit. And this spirit have infiltrated our churches, have literally just, it's everywhere. Everywhere you go, you hear about people going to yoga and practicing yoga and, um, and getting in those groups um, with yoga in it. I am here to tell you, if you are a Christian, a true believer of Jesus Christ, you are opening up yourself to demonic, demonic spirits through this, through yoga. Okay? I'm here to speak truth. Do your own research. Every position, every position that you do in yoga represents one of their deity gods from India. Now, Hinduism, okay, is not a Christian belief. Hinduism is not a Christian belief. And it will open you up. Hinduism, you know, has a lot of different gods, different deities. They believe in different, th different things and they worship these things. Um, so, you know, I have to tell you the truth because God has put this so heavily in my heart to teach about this. 
you are opening up yourself to demonic spirits and demonic activity through yoga. Please. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead you. Like, like Jonas Clark said in his report, do your own research. Every position that you do in yoga represents a God. And I printed this. Um, I printed several articles um, from Wikipedia in doing my research. And, and, and the names of the positions that you use for the stretches and the exercises that you do in yoga are representing a deity of Hinduism, okay? Now, there are several scriptures that I want to talk to you about. Please, please, please do your own research. I am not here to bash down on yoga. I'm not here to tell you what to do. You have your own decision to make. However, I have to, I have to teach the truth. I'm not going to compromise the truth just because it's going to offend me. None of us are perfect. And God is bringing this out into the light so that we can expose what it is behind this, this thing called yoga. And I want to show you this. When you practice yoga, this is the goddess that you are worshiping right here. This is the Kundalini spirit, okay? This is the goddess that you are worshiping when do you yoga. So, you know, let me just let me just go ahead and say this. Um Number one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, um, Exodus, Exodus 20 and three says, thou shall have no other gods before me. Y'all, we're not, we're not supposed to have any other gods before God, any other gods. And, and I have to say, there's a lot of gods out there. Okay. There's a lot of gods out there. I, I'm making it seem like they're gods. But they're not. Uh, we're not supposed to have any other gods before the Almighty, the Almighty God. And, and, and the Bible is clear. During the end times, people will fall away from the faith following demonic spirits. First Timothy 4 and 1 says, Now the Spirit expressively says that, that in latter times, in latter days, the end times, uh, some virgins have, some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to the sinful spirits and teachings of demons. Okay? Yoga is a teaching of demons. And some of our churches are teaching that stuff. But you're opening up yourself to demonic, to demonic spiritual activity. To come and take residence inside of your soul. Where the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Almighty God... The Almighty God, because there is no other higher God than He is. Okay? That's the place that the Holy Spirit is supposed to take inside of you. And some of us, you know, we are following things that the world is following. God says, listen, you are in the world, but you're not supposed to be of it. You're not supposed to be of the world. You are set apart. Because of my spirit living inside of you. And we're following these demonic, demonic entities. Believing that they're good for us. And they're not. They are not. And like I said, do your own research. Okay? Do your own research when it comes to yoga. Where it came from. The history behind it. Okay? How it came to, to the United States. It has literally blown blown have become so popular in, in today's culture and this is a demonic entity okay and we christians many christians are practicing that stuff and say they feel good about it but but then yet they proclaiming jesus christ as their lord and savior i have to say this if you have the holy spirit inside of you 
the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Almighty God inside of you, it would have discernment. It will give you a discernment that something wasn't right about this. It may not tell you exactly what is not right. Okay? Because sometimes the Holy Spirit wants us to research and look into something. It may not tell you exactly what's not right about it. But certainly, it will give you a discernment that something just doesn't settle right. Just like Jonas Clark said in his research. Preachers that are preaching the word of God. But yet something ain't right about them. Okay? There's something that ain't right. A lot of churches. Hear me, people of God. Hear me. A lot of churches are teaching. <laughs> teaching. And practicing things of demons. Doctrine of demons. As, as stated in 1 Timothy 4. Come on y'all. We need to be aware. Wake up. Wake up to what's going on. 2 Corinthians 11 and 3. But I am afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve by his cunning. Your thoughts will be led astray from a sincere and pure devotion to Christ. You are gonna be you are gonna be led astray from having a sincere and pure devotion to Christ. Y'all, there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of demons that have been just it's almost like the doors have been open in every in everything. You know, before we do anything, we need to be praying, asking the Holy Spirit, can I do this? If the Holy Spirit says no, don't do it. Holy Spirit, what do you think about this? Is that good? Because the Bible says that in the end times, people will say that good is, is, is evil and evil is good. Look at the news. All you have to do is look at the news and see that clearly people are saying, you know, good is evil and evil is good. Christians are getting slammed left and right because we want to expose the truth. We want to expose the truth. And y'all, we are living in times that we need to be in constant prayer. Who our friends are, who we relate to, who we talk to, what we say, when we say it, what we get involved in, what we get our children involved in, what our children are watching on TV. There's not, there's not a commercial that goes by that does not teach you witchcraft. They have a, um, I saw a commercial the other day about a, some candy little girl. It's a game on the iPhone and the iPad, and it was showing it, advertising it on TV. Some little girl um, practicing witchcraft, and you can play the game. I even forgot what the, what the, the commercial, the actual name of the game is. But it's a little girl that looked like a witch with a little pointy hat, has a, 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 a wand in her hand, and just turned candy into whatever. I think it's candy or something. What do you think that is? Witchcraft. Teaching our kids witchcraft is nothing better than a spirit of witchcraft. We got spirit of witchcraft in the church. We got um, spirit of deception in the church. The spirit of Jezebel in the church. Ahab. The spirit of Ahab. We, we've got spirit of divination. Now, and I'm going to tell you, New Age... New Age, Yoga, New Age, Yoga, um, Spirit of Divination and Witchcraft, all this stuff is related to the occult, okay? The occult. And we're getting involved in all this stuff. Um, the book, The Circle Maker, supposedly a Christian book. You show me where in the scripture does it say that we're supposed to be walking in circles and drawing circles uh, while we pray. You show me that in the scriptures. Because my Bible has doesn't say anything about drawing circles or walking in circles when you pray. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yet, some pastors are teaching it in their churches. 
Listen, I'm from Dominican Republic, okay? And I have been exposed to a lot of demonic things. I was exposed growing up to demonic things, okay? And people invoking spirits, acting like animals and stuff like that. I know how real this stuff is. I know how real it is, yet here in the United States, it's almost like Christians are blind to the fact. Oh, that, that, that don't really happen here. Are you serious? No, you can't be serious. Oh, I'm serious. You can ask any witch, any real witch who's in witchcraft. What is the first thing they do before they practice their witchcraft? A circle. They draw a circle and they sit in the middle of it. And yet, we're teaching this stuff in church. And we're calling ourselves as following Jesus Christ. Our Lord and Savior who died on the cross for our sins. But we're practicing witchcraft. Y'all, come on. It's time to wake up. Smell the coffee. We need to be aware of what we're getting exposed to. Now listen, I'm not saying that you can't go outside and do what you need to do. I'm not saying that at all. Listen, the Bible says we are in the world, but we're not of it. We don't have to partake of it. And God is calling his sheep out of the church because of everything that's going on. False doctrine, false prophets have filled the churches teaching demonic teachings. Okay? Teaching things of demons, deceitful spirits, infiltrating our churches. It's time to wake up. If you are practicing yoga, listen, God is a God of love. God is a God of mercy. Okay? And, and Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, have paid for all of our sins. And if you're involved in any of this stuff that I'm talking about tonight, you need to repent. The Bible says you need to repent. And turn back. Okay? And I, I, l let me read this. Um, Hebrews 6, 4, and 6. For it is impossible in the case of those who have once been enlightened, who have tasted the heavenly gift and have shared in the Holy Spirit and have tasted the goodness of the Word of God and the powers of the age to come and then have fallen away to restore them again to repentance since they are crucifying once again the Son of God to their own harm and holding Him up to contempt. Y'all... If you are a born again Christian, okay, and you're involved in this stuff, but yet you have tasted the goodness of God and the gift of God, and you are going back to this stuff, y'all, you are crucifying Jesus all over again. And that's impossible to do. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. We need to be aware. But I have this against you, that you have abandoned the love you had at first. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen. Repent and do what works you did at first. If not, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. This is what God is saying. I will remove myself if you don't come and repent. That's what God is saying here. I will remove myself if you don't humble yourself before me and repent. That's Revelation 2, 4, and 5. Y'all, we need to wake up. We need to wake up. Guys, we need to wake up. It's time to wake up. It is time to wake up. I'm going to share one more scripture. One more scripture. Y'all, we need to wake up. I'm going to share two, and then I'll be done for tonight. Then you will say, branches, this is Romans 11, 19 and 22, 19 through 22. Branches were broken off so that I might be grafted in. That is true. They were broken off because of their own belief. But you stand fast through faith. 
So do not become proud, but fear. For if God did not spare the natural branches, neither will he spare you. Note, then, the kindness and the severity of God. Severity towards those who have fallen. But God's kindness to you provide you continue in his kindness. Provided you continue in his kindness. Otherwise, you too will be cut off. You too will be cut off. Second Peter 2, 20 and 22. For if, after they have escaped the defilement of the world through the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled in them and overcome. The last state has become worse for them than the first. If you have been ministered to deliverance and you have fallen away and, and fell back into the things that God delivered you from, your state is worse the second time than it was the first. That's what that's saying. For it would have been better for them never to have known the way of righteousness than after knowing it to turn back from the holy commitment delivered to them. What the true proverb says, says, has happened to them the dog returned the dog returns to its own vomit and the sow after watching her after watching herself returns to wallow in the mirror or in the mire first timothy 4:16 keep a close watch on yourselves and on the teachings teaching persist in this for by doing so you will save both yourself and your hearers. Guys, Matthew 24, 10 and 13. And then many will fall away and betray one another and hate one another. And many fa false prophets will arise and lead many astray. And because lawlessness will be increased, the love of many will grow cold. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. And I'm going to close with that. If you are practicing yoga in love as a sister in Christ and you are a Christian, you love God. God is saying you have fallen away from me. And he's saying repent. Repent. And repent means you turn away from it. Repent ain't just God forgive me and you go back into it. That's not true repentance. True repentance is you lay it down before the Lord and you don't go back to it. Guys, let's get right before God. Let's get right before God. And do your research about yoga. Don't hear what I have to say. Do your own research. Do your own research. The positions, every position that you make in yoga is a representation of a deity or a God. Okay? Several times throughout scriptures, God says, you are not, you are not to put another God before me. You are not to put another God before me. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're putting another God before the Almighty. And he's grieving, is grieving the Lord. Is grieving the Lord. Y'all, come on. If you're in this situation tonight and you are a Christian and you love God, and you are truly repentant. The Bible says, according to Romans 10 and 9, that if you call on the name of the Lord, and you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that he died on the cross for your sins, that you will be saved. You will be saved. Y'all, but that takes place in the heart first. You can't just say it. That takes place in the heart Let's go into prayer because I'm trying to keep this at 30 minutes. Let's go into prayer. Father God, I thank you for every person that will listen to this message, that you will draw to this message, Lord. I thank you, Father God, that you will lead them. Father God, I thank you, Father God, that you will draw them to you. Those that are yours, that belong to you, Lord God, that are being deceived by this spirit, the Kindalini spirit, Lord. I speak deliverance. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that you will draw them to your goodness, to your love and mercy. And, Father, that you will draw them to repentance, true repentance, Lord. 
I thank you for every person that will listen to this. And I honor you tonight. Be with them, encourage them, uplift them, and love on them. And love on them. If you are one of these people, all you have to say, Lord, is, is I repent. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Even if you knew, repent and turn from it. I repent of this. Forgive me. I want to serve you. I want to serve you with all of my heart, all of my mind, all of my soul, and all of my strength. Strengthen me and open my eyes that I may see. That I may see. Give me discernment. That I may discern the things of God and the things of the enemy. That the enemy is infiltrating into my life and into my church and into my community. And I thank you. If you come to the Lord in sincerity, in prayer, He will hear you. And He will forgive you. I thank y'all. I love y'all. Have a good night. Do your research on yoga. By the way, this spirit, the kindling of spirit, is infiltrating our churches. Infiltrating our churches. I pray that the Holy Spirit will give you discernment to discern the things of God. Discern the things of God. Give you a hunger, a hunger for His Word. In Jesus' name, thank y'all. Love y'all. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I pray that you will do your research in yoga. And I pray that you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you in his ways, not your ways, but God's ways. In Jesus' name, have a good night.